Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Mr. Play Color right here in yet another amazing tutorial. So today I just want to show you guys how I edited uh, photos from a recent photo shoot that I did. Now this was a pregnancy photo shoot. I've uh, just loaded uh, or imported just three photos here in Lightroom. And I want to show you guys how I can quickly transform them to, you know, give them that nice summer vibe kind of look. Yeah, so we are going to edit together and just enjoy and follow through. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see here, I shot, um, I used the uh, Canon EOS R8 and I used the 85 millimeter uh, uh f1.8 from young no so these are basically the the light settings that i shot with iso 100 uh f2.2 for this particular photo and uh 500th of a second okay yeah this was a natural light photo and there's no flash whatsoever uh, nor bouncing of any kind of light. It's just natural light. It was about 6 p.m. Yeah, that we usually call that golden hour. Uh, this is like the best time to actually take photos because then uh, you get that natural golden look uh, from the photos. Yeah, this was... Uh... Okay, let me not talk too much. So the first thing... I would do here is try and correct uh, the light. I'm pretty happy with how this photo turned out, but I could go ahead and just do some minor adjustments. So for example, uh, lifting the shadows just a tiny bit and then uh, dialing down on the highlights just a bit. Uh, let's see what happens when I bring down the white sometimes i actually like to lift the white ju just so i can get a pop in the in the photo but uh, for this case we'll just dial down the white just a tiny bit um yeah so far we are not so bad i feel like i want to lift maybe my exposure just a tiny bit tiny bit yeah and then we'll proceed to the tone curve so with the tone curve, um, there are actually two, two parameters. There's this parametric curve, and then there's also the normal uh, point curve. So I'm just going to create uh, a point here, and then I'll drag it down. I just want to give the photo a little bit of contrast. Uh, not too much. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just reset this. Okay, so a mild, mild sort of S curve. And then I'm going to bring this just a tiny bit just so I get a little bit of a matte look into the shadows. So if we turn off the curve on and off, you can see the difference that it makes. Okay, yeah, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go uh, here to the um, uh, to the HSL panel and then I'm going to play with the hue saturation and and uh, and the luminous. So for the hue, uh, remember our goal is to actually have this photo look a little bit, you know, golden and, you know, so I'm going to get to the red channel and I will dial it towards the orange. That usually helps to to make the tones more, you know, if the skin has a lot of magenta, you just dial, uh, let me just put it around 10. And then the orange, I'm going to slide it a little bit towards the yellow. I think around plus four is okay. It's always good to just compare the before and after just so you get. Of course, it doesn't look like there's a drastic change, but, you know, 
uh, we keep on building uh, slowly. So I'm going to come here onto the saturation and I'm going to just dial down the oranges just a little bit because I don't want the skin to become too, you know, too... Uh, too saturated yeah so i'll just dial down and i will also dial down the reds just a little bit maybe like minus 13 there is okay um by the way you guys before i even continue i forgot to mention uh white balance should be the very very first thing uh to balance yeah uh, this white balance, uh, I shot this at around 5,000 uh, Kelvin. Usually, I shoot my photos at around 5,000. It can be sometimes slightly more, but it's really, really hard for me to shoot anything under uh, 5,000. So, let's see. Let me give this a little bit of a green uh, tint. So you can see this is minus, uh, let's go to minus 12 and see what this looks like. You know, it just adds a little bit of that uh, golden warm feel to the photo. Okay, so now there's something I really want to do and it's going to be with a green this green channel here. I want to play with it because I want to uh, give my photo a really nice, you know, feel. So you can see here, uh, you can decide to dial your green towards the, uh, which color would this be? Uh, the green into the aquas, yes. And then uh, I can come here onto the saturation and dial it down uh, a, a bit like that. Because I don't want these greens to really, really pop. I just want them to stay muted. I could even come here onto the luminance and just dial down on that green. The reason I'm doing this is because I want this background to pop. Let me just show you guys the before and after real quick. So that is before, after. You see the transformation now is actually starting to show. Okay. Um, remember, here we are just doing color correction. This photo, um, I've not really done too much of like skin retouching on it. It's pretty much uh, straight from the camera. So I just want to show you guys like the lighting. Yeah. Okay. So I think I am happy with uh, how this green looks. But again, if you really wish to have your green look differently, you can see how to play with uh, now this gives your photo an autumn kind of feel but i think i'm just happy with this kind of look uh yeah to have the green into the aquas and then i desaturate okay uh, i think i'm also going to desaturate this yellow just a little bit so i yeah Okay, now usually the other thing that I do would be, uh, since I have these other photos, so in a situation that you have multiple photos, all you have to do is select, uh, hold shift on, on the keyboard and then uh, hold on to, uh, in this case, this is the last photo. Uh, so you just want to make a selection. But then the criteria is you first select the photo you're copying settings from and then you hold shift and then click on the last photo. So you can just come here and say sync. <clears throat> yeah, here it just uh, shows you what settings actually you're going to sync. If you need to deselect some, you just, you know, uh, unclick here or uncheck. And then you just say synchronize. So it will copy the settings of that photo onto the next photo. Right. So this is the other photo. And with this photo, of course, you can see the settings are pretty much strong. Uh, but I can just dial down on the, for example, the exposure here. And then the other thing I want to do is crop. 
Let me just crop this photo a little bit. Just like that. So that it's a much better composition. There we go. <coughs> now in this photo, I am not so happy with the yellow. So I might actually bring back the yellow. You can see because this is orange and this is yellow. So I had desaturated the, the yellow just so I get a nice look. But I'm going to dial it uh, back just a bit so that I don't lose out on that yellow completely. So usually for these photos, I will go ahead and also just uh, wash or clean the teeth. Uh, for that, I just get the adjustment brush. You can press K on the keyboard and then it will bring for you that adjustment brush. Uh, I've made my own preset with this brush. I call it clean eyes. But in case you just have a new brush, all you have to do is uh, <coughs> uh, come and uh, uh, click on the saturation and dial it down. Maybe like 40, 48. Yeah. And then you can have your temperature on minus a little bit of maybe minus seven or even if it's on like zero, uh, that's a good starting point. And then make sure your brush is the right size and then you can go ahead and clean up those eyes real quick. Eyes and teeth. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you have to take your time with this just so it is uh, nicely done. Okay, after you just say done and then, yeah. So you see this photo, um, I'm really, really happy with it. Maybe sometimes you guys, by the way, in Lightroom, you might have to like just select features differently. Now, like uh, in this case, you can see uh, the orange. There's a lot of orange in the skin. Uh, I can dial it down a little bit more, but but also try not to uh, affect the cloth too much. So you need to have to strike a balance. If you see that you're affecting the cloth too much, maybe then you have to uh, use masks. Yeah. So you can uh, uh, select the, the skin differently. Um, maybe I can show you guys uh, that really, really quick. So I will maybe do, let me just come or, okay. Yeah. Let me just come here and click mask. And then I say create new. So I will select, uh, the subject. Yeah. So you say select subject, of course, here it's selecting, uh, you know, the, the skin, the face and everything, the cloth. Yeah, uh, it, you're seeing it's desaturated because there's already a preset of a brush that was uh, done before. But now you see, I don't want to take effect on the entire cloth, on the entire, I just want to affect only uh, the skin. Yeah. So I'm going to actually say, uh, I'm going to come here onto the, that mask and say subtract, and then I'll choose brush. Okay. So with this brush, I'm just going to, uh, you see what I'm doing. I am subtracting the cloth. Uh, it doesn't have to be an exactly perfect selection. It can be, you know, a rough kind of, uh, yeah, you can reduce the brush size to at least a size that is reasonable. Yeah. So after I've done the, uh, the subtracting, then I can actually have an actual effect onto, uh, like maybe saturation. You can see you can increase it or you can dial it down. So basically that's what it does. Yeah, you can just take this uh, overlay off. So you guys, you can see the, the, the difference that it makes. Yeah, but in this case, I am, I'm really happy with this. So I'm not really going to actually 
I was just showing you guys how to. Okay, and then this is the final photo as you can see. Uh, remember, I copied settings from this photo, but this photo now just needs a little bit of a pop. So let's first of all, uh, first style back on this. Um, I'm going to leave these whites just a tiny bit. And then we are going to clean, clean up these eyes with a brush and the teeth. I might actually do another round with the eyes. Yeah. Okay, I think I want to give this uh, skin just a little bit more of a pop. So I'm going to bring back uh, on, on this. And then I think I'll also adjust because here the time we were almost coming to seven. So that's why you see the warmth has reduced. So I'm going to use the temperature here. <clears throat> I'm going to increase it just a little bit. I think up to like 10. 10 is a happy place. You can see the transformation with this photo right so this is the before and this is the after you can see the difference let me just zoom this out before after before after those were pretty simple steps guys right so this was the first photo that we did and the second one and the third one these are like quick edits you guys yeah uh, these are really really quick edits yeah so in case you missed out on the other video uh, of how i actually did this photo shoot kindly check it out i'm going to leave it in the description and also i'll share a card with you at the end of this video so uh, thank you so much if you have any questions please let me know and um yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.